Hello, welcome everybody. So, we're going to be doing all upgrades. Give me a second. Um, and then we'll get into the meat of this. How is everybody today? I hope you're all doing good. As I, I sure am. It's been a decent day today, and I'm happy about that. Definitely. There we go. So, double check things. Hello, Kami Egg. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? But yeah, so I'll say hi to everybody now. Um, and I'll explain it again. I'll explain it here now. But basically, due to a glitch in the game, I cannot get everything in this game. Uh, that's good to hear. So, when I'll be explaining something to all of you, you've got to make sure that you don't make the mistake that I made with regards to a specific upgrade. I will explain that in detail later on, and I will note that that will be once I get into the game. Um, I'll explain it when I'm in the game because that will make more sense to me, but of course not when it started. When it's all started, I'll show you what was missed out and what you need to do for it. It's just that, um, you know, for me personally, because I've glitched the game, I cannot be uh, receiving this one upgrade. Okay, so without further ado, we'll do that. Um, and I will go into the game. So. This should look good. I say it should look good and... Well... Okay, so we've got this open right now. And yeah. Okay, so before we get into all of this, um, if you do not want spoilers with regards to another quest, that has been done previously. Wait. Confused. Mm. 
The save should be on this amount. I am definitely confused right now. Just give me a second. Yeah, so that's definitely correct. Yes, this is the... This is the correct one. I thought it would have been fine. Um... So there we go here. And I'll just walk back to the Temple of Time to, to say. Just loading up an episode. Okay. So. What I'm going to talk about concerns another video. The video being the child trading quest and adult trading quest. So, if you do not want to know about that, put your ears away now, but it does influence what's happening here, and I will explain it as easily as I can. Okay, so. The issue is is that when you get the poacher's saw as part of the adult trading quest, you cannot hand in the mask of... Well, I say hand in, but you cannot show the mask of truth to a group of Deku scrubs um, in order to get the last Deku nut upgrade. Therefore, I will not be able to, be do, to do the Deku nut upgrade in this in this showing. I will show you where you go normally for it. I will tell you what normally happens, but sadly, for me in this, I can't actually show you that upgrade. As simple as that. So, I will explain this when it comes to that time. And I will explain it thoroughly. But in the meantime, let's be getting our upgrades. So, a lot of the upgrades we've got we'll need to get as a child. The first upgrades we'll go to will be Kakriko Village. The reason I'm doing this is because Kakriko Village has both our wallet upgrades and the Stone of Agony. Both of these are needed for... Well, they aren't needed, but both of these are definitely very helpful with respect to a lot of minigames that I will be playing today. So, I'm just going to do that now. So, we'll be getting the two wallet upgrades and the Stone of Agony. Now, I can't remember where they're located specifically. The first wallet upgrade you should get as a 10 gold sculpture reward. The second wallet upgrade should be a 30 gold sculpture reward. And the Stone of Agony is a 20 gold sculpture reward. Uh, from memory, this should be the first wallet upgrade. So that's your first wallet upgrade. This is the second wallet upgrade. So we can carry a lot of money. And this is the Stone of Agony. What the Stone of Agony does, it says, if you equip a Rumble Pack, it will react to nearby secrets. That's exactly what it does. Some places are hidden in the ground. You know, 
which you need to bomb, the Stone of Agony will let you know about these things, which is very good. Um, I'm going to fill up my... I'm going to fill up my wallet. So I will go back in here. The only thing that I will say that's not related to this specifically, but since we're going through all Spider of the Curse things, the piece of heart that I was shown bef that I shown before was for 50 gold sculptures, and this is the 40, which is bomb shoes. So we'll go out and go back in. I think that 400 rupees should be enough for this. So, we'll go back in. If I need more, I'll get some more. Okay, so... Now what we're going to do... Is we will do... All Deku stick upgrades. So, both of the Deku stick upgrades are in the Lost Woods, uh, which will give your total of Deku sticks up to 30. And both you need to get as Child Link. Skull mask for one of these. So we're just going to get the skull mask first. To get the skull mask, you need to put, turn in the Keaton mask, uh, which I've shown in the mask video. Go to Kokiri Forest after saving with the Skull Mask, and we'll pick up both upgrades. So they are both in the Lost Woods, and I will show you where both of them are. Path to the last foot. I'm going to equip. Well, that because we've got to deal with a. So we'll just stun the Deku shop that will be selling us the upgrade. Just like that. And it should say we will increase your Deku stick capacity. Yep. Yep. So yes. So that's the first Deku stick upgrade. And welcome cat and welcome palace cafe. Nice to see both of you here. The second Deku Stick upgrade is further into the Lost Woods. What you need to do is you need to go further into here. Oh. 
I thought it wouldn't be because that was, uh, with regards to game audio. Because that was something that I thought I changed. But oh well. Um, okay, so we're going to go into uh, the forest stage. And the forest stage is around these butterflies here. So we've just got to fall down. And as you can see here... So we need to show them our fabulous face. We display the skull mask and we go up here. And they will all come around us. And eventually we will get the big Deku shrub showing us here. And therefore your Deku tips go up to 30. Now, now we'll deal with the Deku Nut upgrade. So to do that, we will go back to the mask shop. So, we're going to change the mask for the Mask of Truth. This is glitched out because... This is glitched out because I have now received... Basically, I have the Big Ron Sword, as you can see here, which means that I've definitely picked up the Poacher Saw. Mm. So... Mm. So, because of that, I cannot pick up one of the upgrades, but I will show to all of you how you do do it in your own playthrough. Um, so, we're just gonna go back to Kokiri Forest to go back to Lost Woods. get as a trade in the Lost Woods, and I will show you where you can get that. Uh, it's in the Lost Woods, close to the Sacred Forest Meadow. Let's keep going. We can go past the forest stage for this one, although we will go back there. And it should be this rock here. You need to blow up this rock here. And then you can just... 
Well, use Deku Nuts to get Deku Nuts, really. I believe it's this one. And that puts up your Deku Nut capacity to 30. So, there's one more upgrade. This is an upgrade that I'm locked out of. But I will show you how to do this. So, what we do is we go to the forest stage again. And we show the Mask of Truth. Now, this will not work because we've gotten the Poacher's Axe, which is one of the trade quest items in the adult quest line. Ergo, this will not work right here, but as long as you have not received the Poacher's Axe at any time in your playthrough, you can get this Deku Nut upgrade. What you need to do is you need to show the Mask of Truth, and you need to show them to every everybody here. As you can see, they all go like this. And ideally, you're supposed to talk to this one here, who will give you a Deku Nut upgrade. But, of course, it's glitched out. So, you can get this upgrade if you have not received the Poacher's Saw in the Adult Trade Quest yet. So make sure to do this before you get the Poacher's Saw. And that's the most important thing, really. Uh, like I said, it's just not triggering for me. So, for the next one, we're going to go to Hyrule Castle Town. And we will talk about the slingshot upgrades. So the slingshot upgrades. There's one mini game in Castle Town that gives a slingshot upgrade. So the mini game is here, and you've got to get all rupees in it. So just play this game, and they go out in a certain way. So. As you can see, I can just line this up, basically. And there you go. That's how you get your first... Your first slingshot upgrade to 40 bullets. So we go out of here, and the second slingshot upgrade is in the Lost Woods. So, we will go to the Lost Woods. So we're just going to Lost Woods again. Thank you. 
and you can see that there is this target here that you need to get 300s on. So we are going to do exactly that. have to be three in a row. And now I only got two. I need a third, so I'm gonna put, cut some plants, and then I will try to just get enough seeds here. That's all I can really do here. I guess I could buy some seeds, so that's what I'll do. And then once you get 300, you will get this uh, Deku scrub doing bullseye, and then you will get, um, oh, <laughs> yeah, so you get a present, and that is your second slingshot upgrade. So that's both slingshot upgrades. I'm now going to go refill on some money. So we're going to Kakariko Village. And then we will do both bomb bags, which are the final things that you can get as a child as an upgrade.
Get some more money. Hey, I need money, please. Thank you. And now we're going. We're going to Hyrule Castle down. This uh, bomb shoe bowling, I believe it uh, begins once you've gotten the bomb bag. And you can get upgrades for the bomb bag once you, of course, go here. The bomb bag is one of a few prizes, so we will cycle through effectively. Okay, so we don't need this. So we're just gonna just gonna do this. And we don't want this either. No, I don't want just bombs. <laughs> but yeah, you just keep cycling until you get what you need. Because of these wallet upgrades, you will get to it eventually. So now we've just got to win for the first bomb bag. we go. And that is the first bomb bag you can get. That is in the bomb shoe bowling alley. And now you can carry 30 bombs. Nope, we don't want to play again. So we've got our first bomb bag. And the second bomb bag is in Goron City. So we will climb the mountain for that. And get some more money. <laughs> because money's always uh, useful for all of these things. second bomb bag. Ow! Ow! 
Yeah. We'll make our way up the mountain. And then we'll get the second bomb bag upgrade. Stop the Goron called Hot Rada Goron. We specifically need to stop Hot Rada Goron in this game, so we need to time this correctly and find out when Hot Rada Goron will be here. I'm gonna just put a bomb here and get close. And there you go, we've stopped the Hot Rada Goron. There, you, that's how you get the second bomb bag. These are all the items you can get as child Link, so we're now gonna go as adult Link. Now the first place we will go to is Lake Hylia, um, because the first item I want to show is in adult fishing. Now there are two ways to get to adult fishing. The first way to get to it is by completing the water temple. The second way is if you've got the Scarecrow song enabled. I'll just show you what happens with regards to Scarecrow song and then we'll go in. Yeah, so sadly, because the water is filled, I can't really do this. But what you would do is just do the Scarecrow song, which is something that you've determined. Yeah, we'll arrive. Well, actually, that happens. Then we're good on that platform. And then you can hopefully long shot Pierre in order to... in order to get onto this platform here. That's if you have not filled the lake of Lake Hylia. So we will go in here. So, 
There's a specific fish you want. Uh, that we know will... You need a fish that weighs more than 15 pounds. There is a specific fish here that does weigh more than 15 pounds. That fish is... It's moved because I got too close, I guess. But it should be right where that bit there is. I'm going to see if it moves back. We can sort of see it right now. Not now. If it doesn't, we'll just reset this. Okay, I think it's best just to reset this. This is why a lot of money can be helpful. So just go out and back in to reload it. Similar, but we'll just be a bit more careful. We'll go from here. So we need to get this fish to bite. So we're moving. And we're just trying to keep tension here. We're moving in this direction. Oh! It went away this time. But yeah, ideally you want to make sure there's tension in line, but not too much tension. I'm going to reload it again. So... Yeah, okay. Take two. <laughs> so, hopefully it won't fight. time it doesn't. So I'm going to see if it resets. If not, we'll just all reset again. against the fish really. Not get too much. Just fighting against it. Trying to win. <laughs> this is always nerve wracking. The fish is the final boss of Zelda, I swear. 
hopefully fighting against it means that we will get it eventually. It is closer and closer to land, it's fighting away, but we're winning at the moment as long as we don't lose the real... You know, it, it's gonna have to relax at some stage. And that's exactly what's happening here. It's so close to us. We'll see it in a few seconds. It is getting closer. Come on, come on. the fish again. <laughs> Come on, don't try to get away from me. Come on. Lost it. Okay, I'm gonna have to redo this. Hey, cute Hyra. to get as close as I as I possibly can to this fish. It should be here and we will attempt it again. Keeping good momentum going here so that it wants to wait what? Okay, I know there's a strange event that happens sometimes, so I'm intrigued. I was going to explain it later, but... It might have been just me. Yeah, it's just me. Got it quite close already. Let's hope that we can reel this one in. Come on. So close and yet so far. Oh, get further away. <laughs> it's in Link's perspective, but it got further away. 
on. Come on. me come on come on please yes there we've got it my finger was stuck <laughs> yes we want to keep it so you keep it and then you go here and what you do is you say weigh my fish and then you get the golden scale My fingers need a break. Say you want to quit. Get out of here. And now we'll deal with both bow upgrades. So the first bow upgrade is in Kakariko Village. We'll get a money upgrade and then we'll get it. The second bow upgrade is actually the bane of my existence, so please forgive me if that takes quite a while. The first one shouldn't take too long. But yeah, the first, um... Well, this upgrade, if you're thinking in any other way, um... Basically, you can only get it after you get the bow. That can be quite obvious, but still it's worth saying. So we'll fill up on rupees, and we'll go get the first up bow upgrade. Okay, so, same shooting gallery. This time it's different, though. This time you don't know the order which they're coming out, so you've got to be careful. So. Some things do stay in order, in the sense... Of course, you can know from what's gone before, what's going to happen. is it. Once you get all these rupees, you get the first bow upgrade. So the second bow upgrade. And I'm not gonna refill for just 20 rupees. But the second bow upgrade is in Gerudo's Fortress. So we're just going to go there now. Hey! 
So we'll go there using a Pona. get to through those fortresses by using either the long shot or Pona. At that point you can get the Grudo membership card. Once you get that you can do this minigame. The first prize of this minigame is a piece of art. And then the second prize of this minigame is your bow upgrade. going here for the second prize. can get an easy 700 points from destroying all the parts. That requires no aiming at all. to it, so we'll try it again. Ideally, what you want to do is get that. Three thousand. Sorry. One thousand five hundred points. just wasn't enough, so we'll try again again.
just keep trying. <laughs> need to get 640 more points. If I just had a bit more time, I'd be okay, but... I'm gonna try it another way, actually. If I can line it up so I, uh... So I do the shots first, because... I feel like it lines up better that way, and then do the parts, maybe it'll be better for me. I don't know. No, I'm just not used to it. My adrenaline's going up. Yeah, my hands are fine. Oh, sorry, I'm going up. But yeah, basically you've got to defeat this at 1,500 points. Getting myself back in the mood. Okay. 
no! I'm sorry. <laughs> that was, this is literally the first time I was like... focus during this walkthrough, so my apologies for that actual outburst. <laughs> this I'll need a small break. Focus. Like seriously, this is the hardest part of this game in my opinion. Not even trying at this point.
This is why having both wallets is so good for this mini game. Just let all the arrows fly at the right time, I should be okay. Okay, so after this I will definitely take a break, get some more money, and come back here. I need to focus. Um, so I'm putting it like this. As I said, if you get the 1,500 points, you get the upgrade. I just need to do that.
I'm very confused about what happened changing scene. I should have been correct during this though, so let's just... That should be correct, so my apologies. Yeah, we're just gonna get some more money. Welcome Marshmonty, raiding with a party of one. How are you today? I am currently... Well, this is a walkthrough, so I'm explaining everything to everybody. But... I'm currently stuck on the final part of this walkthrough. Uh, the thing is, is that... Oh, nice. Yeah. The thing is, is that... I'm doing the second upgrade. I've done it before, but it's really hard for me to do, so I've been just doing my best on that, basically. Um, I will get it. I will get it. <laughs> but yeah. Was well, Resident Evil 4 VR good? Uh, you know Gerudo Horseback Archery? Like, I'm doing that. Yeah, so my controller... Uh, effectively, it isn't perfect with regards to sensitivity. So, that's half the problem. But the other half is that just my aim is not... It's not good. That's how I put it effectively. So, because of that, it's going to take me a while to do this. I've got... In theory, I've got an hour and a bit. That's the funny thing um, to say to anybody, even in the walkthrough. I've got that much time, but... You know... My worry is that this will just take me forever. I just won't do it. I've gotten to 1,490 points twice, but just haven't been able to seal the deal with the extra 30. So, honestly, if there's one thing that I just, I find incredibly difficult in this game, it's that art thing. I always have. I've been able to do it before, so it's been possible for me, but, yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm perhaps saying too much for people after the fact. Uh, you've got to find your own way of doing this. With regards to the parts, hitting the parts at the start definitely helps me, so I think it will help you. Uh, with regards to this walkthrough. Um, however, if you find a better way, maybe you can tell me sometime. Um, because this is, this is the toughest challenge, in my opinion. 
It's tougher than Ganon. Wait, what? It must be because it's night. Yeah, I made a mistake there.
just got to do better. <laughs> I can do this. I can actually do this. to be able to make these shots here. Okay. 
Alright. I know this is a walkthrough, but that is the toughest thing in Ocarina of Time, for me specifically. I do not... I, I'm not saying that it's not... The hardest thing will be different for every single other person here. I really do mean that. But for me, this is the toughest thing in this game. By far. This is tougher than Ganon. This is tougher than any of the fights that we've had. This is tougher than... This is tougher than fishing. Which is another thing I, you know, I found a bit tough. It's tougher than finding all the gold sculptures, finding all the heart pieces. Like, for me, this is the true reward. So, without any further ado, Give me my upgrade. Yes! The biggest quiver. And there, that's all upgrades done. My apologies for getting emotional, but this is like, the biggest thing for me. The toughest thing for me to do. Racing opponent might have been a close second on that one, to be honest with you. But yeah, I'm... Yeah. I'm... I'm happy now. So, we've got a little bit of time. I'm wondering what to do, what to do, what to do. Well, I personally would rather save my energy. What I might do in a few days' time, so the plans for the future, and I'll put it just on this. Okay, so I will be doing, because I have the time, I'll be doing the secrets video, okay? Um, actually, I'll save this first. So... I will be doing the the secrets video all extra chests the giant's knife although i don't believe i can get it now um all extra portals all of that stuff we will we'll, um we'll look at it all 
as much as I can remember. This is something that I know the least about. But I'm going to give it a shot. I should know where everything is. Uh, I should know uh, if this secret has given us a heart piece or, you know, a skull. We're not doing that again. But anything else is fair game. Uh, fairy fountains, all of that stuff. Uh, we'll look into it in one fell swoop. And that'll be in a few days' time. Well, specifically Wednesday for this. Uh, so, the questions are who to raid and, um, you know, who to thank. Basically, what I'll say is I am doing uh, Dawn of War 2 Retribution with Cat. And that is at 7. That's in 30 minutes. So we aren't raiding anybody for now. Uh, so you can, you know, you can watch that if you want to. Otherwise, just, again, thank you everybody for being here. I mean, just going through the list, I know there's uh, Marsh Monty, Inquisitor Cat, Cute Pyro, Pally's Cafe, Kami Egg. Thank you, all of you, for being here. And thank you, Marsh Monty, for the raid. Uh, I hope the VR was good. And yeah, I'm hyped. I'm happy. Uh, it's very good that I was able to complete it finally. So there you go. Um, again, if anybody's seeing this at the end, I've said it at the beginning of this video. So if you've somehow gone to the end wondering what might Goron be saying, you know, then what I will tell you is... Make sure you do not get the poachers, Sar, in the adult trading quest before uh, putting the, again, the, there's all spoilers in this, but before getting the Mask of Truth to the um, forest stage. Because the poachers, Sar, locks you out of that. It is a glitch. It's not supposed to happen. Um, but, yeah. I'm happy. Um, again, it's in writing now, 5 p.m., British Standard Time, Thursday, we will have the celebratory stream. I, uh, it is on the IF server, it will be open mic, in the sense that, you know, anybody that I can trust will join, of course, and we'll have a fun time and enjoy defeating Ganon in some fun and unique ways, to be honest with you. So, that'll be amazing. I can't wait for that. Uh, technically, we're close. Well, that's the end uh, for anything that you'd worry about. Um, this is the end of it all. Um, but the celebration is commencing. And that's going to be amazing. I'm so happy and so looking forward to that. So, yep. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.